so we're on our way to go along and collect some super boxes today. Only problem, we haven't got Queen Bee with us today, but no reason not to make a video. And we'll catch her uh, reaction when we get back to KZN. We're going to be loading up in front of Bale and driving all the way down to KZN. It's they're part of a batch of uh, boxes that we bought. Uh, we bought them with the supers. And um, the, the old supers basically are always the best to use because I already got the comb. They spun out comb, what we call them spun out super frames. Um, so the bees don't have to worry about making the comb first. They literally just climb into filling them up with honey. So it makes their job 10 times easier and 10 times faster. And we get a much bigger honey yield for the year. So um, let's see how it goes. Right, so in general, it's a, it's a good idea to cover the, your your boxes that you're busy transporting with uh, some shade cloth. It just keeps it cool, especially on a day like this. It is, you can see it partly cloudy, but this morning when we left it was fairly overcast, so we weren't too worried about it, but now it's starting to get a bit hot, and uh, the wax is actually getting, and the propolis is all getting a bit soft, so it would have been a good idea to cover it. Okay, so just remember when you're strapping up the boxes, make sure you've got at least one strap per row. Uh, preferably in the middle of the box, you don't want them to fly off just because they were too far on the end. Uh, as many straps as possible, uh, the more the better. You can see here we've done quite a few nice new straps as well. Um, and also you can make sure that uh, they are tied all over, no loose ends. Make sure your new buckles are nice and tight and uh, that nothing fails while you're on the road. We stopped now and uh, we can see that this one strap is quite loose. So we're just gonna tighten the ratchet one or two clicks just to make sure that it's nice and tight and check all of them. Right, so never a dull moment. Uh, we're driving into a storm. So I had to stop and wrap up the whole lot. Make sure that there's no water getting into any of the boxes. Once your boxes get wet, they stay wet for a long time. You don't want them getting wet from the rain or anything like that. So the best is to keep them dry, especially if you're driving. Make sure that you've got some extra sails available, plastic sheets that you can cover up and um, make sure that uh, the water doesn't get into, especially into spun out supers. It's a nightmare because the water gets into that comb. You don't want that at all. When you strap up, make sure that you've got no flaps. Um, any bits of extra sail must be neat and tidy, otherwise it starts flapping and it just disintegrates. Make sure your straps are nice and tight. Have a look over there. It's always nice to stop at a, at a garage or something where there's a bit of light. It's a bit of safer environment. You don't want to end up getting stuck on the side of the road and getting approached by some dodgy character or anything like that. You can have a look there. We've gone along and compensated lots and lots of straps. You can never have enough straps. Chrissy, what do you think of the uh, packing? Very nicely packed. Where were you in the beginning of the video? Oh, I wasn't there. I sent my little drone, Brian, to go and do it for me. Woohoo! 